Well, we are also hearing tonight from a group of local men who have put together a story on the big screen, hoping that it'll serve as a warning against street life. Channel 2's Claudine Ewing takes us inside the movie series Pure. These are the men of Pure. Pure is the name of a book written by Buffalo native William Morris, known as Ducey King. Pure to me means something that's not watered down, something that's real, something that's authentic, and um, I think that's what this project is. Heavy now and then inspired to saliva that verse, inspired to share a piece of my life. Pure is more than a book and it's more than a movie. What I was trying to do is show young men and women that if I can do something different, you can do something different. I was, I'm not going to say I was the worst of the worst, but I was, I was, you know, I was really in the streets. King wrote the book during a vulnerable time. He was in prison in Georgia on a drug charge. I fell in love with writing. So when I came home, I linked with some guys that was actually doing movies. And his book seemed right for the big screen. And coming author from Buffalo is making a big impact as a new writer. And he joins us today. Ladies and gentlemen, Ducey King. Movies becomes generic at a certain point, and you know that it's a movie, you know that it's kind of like fake. We try to make it so realistic, even putting people in position as actors who really might play that role in real life. The music is local. And I took unsigned artists from Buffalo to try to put their music on a higher platform with the, with the movie Pure. Why should Buffalo celebrate Pure? Because I think the realism of it, and again, I think it's a community project. A community project because this independent film has local flavor. It has specks of King's life and those he knew growing up. It's a fictitious story, but it's about things that happen in the Buffalo, New York. How can we change this? It ain't your job to change this. It's your job to change this. No, we're not glorifying the, the drugs or the violence, but this is our reality. This was my reality. This is what's going on in today's society. You will see remorse and regret and this message he wants to send. Prison is not the place to be. And he wants this movie to serve as a voice. The community knows me. So if they're able to identify with this guy was able to change his life, I could change my life. So again, it's bigger than a book, it's bigger than a movie. It's about changing the mindset of how we do things, in, not only in Buffalo, New York, but in, in Western New York, period. Claudine Ewing, Channel 2 News.